हेलो एवरी वन आई एम विद्धि पटेल लेक्चर इन द कंप्यूटर आई टी डिपार्टमेंट एट एल जी पॉलिटेक्निक वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अव लर्निंग सीरीज ऑफ डेटा बेज मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस सीरीज इन टू सिक्स पार्ट लेट सी दैट पार्ट वन बाय वन पार्ट वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू डेटा बेज मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम दिस पार्ट विल कंटेन ओवर व्यू ऑफ डेटा बेज मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विच इज एब्रिवेटेड एज डी बी एम एस it is start with basic concept such as data information database and database management system then various way to store and manage data will be described including paper based system computer based system and database management system with its advantages and disadvantages next part architecture of database management system this part will describe the generalized three level architecture of the database management system suggested by ansi spark this will follow the description of schema sub schema instance and data independence after this structure component and functions of the dbms will be described this will follow the description of the various data models on which architecture of dbms are developed at the end different type of database systems will be discussed part 3 introduction to structured query language which is abbreviated as sql this part will contains components of sql which are ddl data definition language dml data manipulation language dql data query language and dcl data control language it also involves data type supported by sql and remaining section will cover various commands to create a table insert a data into a table to retrieve data from the table in different way to delete rows from the table to update contents of a table and to alter table schema after this this part will include sql operators sql functions which are helpful in our day to day life part 4 relational algebra and implementation using sql this will contain relational algebra and different way to retrieve information which is spread across the multiple tables part 5 database integrity constraint this will have database integrity constraint which can say set of rules which restricts data to store and manipulate it. this part will begin with the definition of constraint and providing broad classification of various constraint after this various constraint will be described this description will include the purpose of constraint restriction they enforce on database sql syntax to implement constraint and related examples after that how to add or modify constraint in an already existing table will be described part 6 entity relationship model this will contain entity relationship model which is also called as a er model the three basic notation of er model which is entity attribute and relationship will be discussed in this part after that how to make er models will be taught using an example all these topic will be covered in this series now we start with the introduction of the subject in fact start with the first part which is introduction to database management system before starting that introduction to database system some important concept which are essential will be taught first first the subject name database management system one word come to the mind which is data what is data data means a raw fact which does not have any meaning it can say that it is just a number text audio video or picture let's understand with example suppose i write 3 which is a number it gives only that information it is a number not other than that suppose i write 342 which is also a number suppose i write john which is a name of a person it is also a data which is a raw material let's see what is information many people have confusion regarding data and information here i am going to clear that both the terms are very different how let's see information means process data we can say that data with context means data has some meaning or it is summarize organize or analyze data suppose i write 89 then it is a data suppose i write 89 with percentage sign then it clarifies that 85 has some meaning which gives information that a student has obtained 89 percentage 
there is a huge difference between data and information i hope that you all are clear about data and information now the next term is database what is database database is the collection of data which is interrelated data let's understand what is interrelated data suppose i take a example of salary of an employee percentage of student and the price of a car which are the data but they can't be in the same database because they are not related to each other so we can say that they are unrelated data then what is related data let's take another example we have often visit the bank to deposit money or to debit a money from a account then we become a customer of that particular bank the customer is an actor here an actor belongs to a person or an object we can say that account and bank are also an actor a customer has an account in a bank so we can say that customer account and bank are interrelated data means they are related to each other so they can be in a same database so the database is a basically collection of interrelated data there are some examples of database that you may encounter in your daily life which are mobile phone book which stores many contacts next one is a line reservation system inventory system banking system and file save in your computer hard drive yes of course your computer hard drive is a database which stores many files which you are using in your daily life all the mention system uses database there are many more examples which you can find in your daily routine here the main topic comes database management system which is abbreviated as dbms database management system is a database which means collection of interrelated data and a set of program to manipulate those data data manipulation involves various operations such as store data modifying data remove data and retrieve data when ever needed The primary goal of database management system is to provide efficiency and convenience in storing the data and retrieving the data from the database. DBMS also provides safety against the system crashes as well as unauthorized access. Let's see some of the example of database management system. There are so many database systems available. Few of them are described here. Microsoft Access, SQL Server, Oracle, MongoDB, and MariaDB, and many more you can find in your routine life. We will see paper-based system, computer-based system, and database management system with its advantages and disadvantages in next tutorial.